Okay, my controls for what? Short Aircraft. <laughs> my first flight ever on the DA-42. Hey guys, Tarek Mariface, and welcome to another flying video. This is my very first flight with Kalmar for my CPL MEIR. Unfortunately, I could only put one camera in the aircraft this time, so this is the angle we'll be having the whole flight. The first flight, as always, is basic handling, but the cloud layer was quite low, so we filed IFR and we punched through and did all the exercises on top, and it was really cool. The first day is done in pairs, so my friend Stee was backseating me and obviously I backsat him afterwards and so you'll be able to hear him every now and again. Our instructor was Tommy, an ex-Swedish Air Force fighter pilot. He also worked for Diamond so he knows a lot about the DA-42. I'm a Tara Diamond 3-1 Hotel. I'm on 3-1 Hotel, come on. Uh, Diamond 3-1 Hotel, request departure information. I'm on 3-1 Hotel, runway 34, wind uh, 2 9 and 0 degrees, 2 0 knots, uh, temperature 4, QH uh, 9 and 9 and 5. Re read back everything or just QH? Thank you, QH and uh, active runway. Runway 34 and QH 9 or 9 or 5, uh, Diamond 3 1 Hotel. Uh, briefing, so we do a departure briefing. Or we do the departure briefing and emergency support as well. Alright, so runway 34, this uh, will be my departure. Yep. And we've got. We ask for clearance and the intention is to stay over. Right? Okay. Calma Tower Diamond 3 1 Hotel. Diamond 3 1 Hotel. Diamond 3 1 Hotel, request departure clearance and uh, request intentions for Ulan and stay at 5,000 feet or below. Uh, you have the company IFR over uh, 5,000 feet or below, so uh, yeah, any other requests? Uh, could we go for the Western sector instead? Yep, that's fine. If you're in the western part of the team, a uh, 5,000 feet or below, squawk 6702. Uh, western part 6702, uh, Diamond 31 Hotel. 31 Hotel and 5,000 feet or below. 5,000 feet or below, Diamond 31 Hotel. Kalmar, Diamond 31 Hotel, request taxi clearance to the runway. Diamond 31 Hotel, taxi and line up runway 34 uh, via Alpha and Alpha 10. Alpha, Alpha 10. Taxi and hold uh, runway 34, Alpha and Alpha 10, Diamond 31 Hotel. And I go back to Newton because it turns in right away. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> it's really tough in the beginning. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Go anticipate big time. <laughs> and I can go back to idle. I hold the way to idle because it will increase okay. the speed all the time. So, Alpha? Yeah. Uh, touch your brakes just a little bit so you feel they are working. That's it. You don't need to stop. That's, that's enough. That's okay. Enough. Brakes and are I working. Check mine. I am working as well. Good. Okay. Despite all my prior preparation, the new aircraft, the new airfield, the new system, it was all quite a lot to take in. I didn't check oh, the final, no, sorry. I did, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to check the final. It's okay. Uh, I'll now wait to hold here. Line up, hold. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, legs are shaking. <laughs> okay. Hey. Heading bug set. 328 yeah. set. We uh, check the announce the panel, so push the caution. Should we put uh, Peter on or? Yeah, and let me turn uh, this off. No, keep it. Keep it both on. And uh, Peter heat on. Peter heat on. Yeah. All right. So oh, then we are ready. All right, so let's go. And I stick to the left because of the wind. Okay. So you get the feeling you have response there. And then you can All right, go. we've got full power. Uh, Airspeed yeah. device. Engine's okay. Hold oh, sorry. Uh, Okay. Rotator. That's good. I try to put the right one on top here. Okay. And a light little right one. Oh. Good. All right, a little fast. That's oh, okay. It's okay. And a little slow. Wow, everything is happening at once. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, unusable runway. You're up. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, 
<laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Then we can start the turn. We can turn to yeah, let's say two seven zero. Two yeah. seven zero. Okay. Uh, left oh. check, right check, and turn. I'm going to pitch up a little bit more so we continue the climb. Oh, it's getting real warm. Yeah. yeah that's good. <laughs> oh, sorry. I overshot. Oh, uh, it's okay. I didn't check the diamond. Uh. Oh, that was pretty bad. Oh, okay. Use 270, so you don't use the track diamond. So yes, okay, just, just, just the heading. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we can continue the climb to 4,000 feet. Uh, do you want me to go right through the clouds or? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Oh, okay. Have you flown in clouds before? Yeah. Ah, so you know about it, so it's no problem. I just, just focus on the attitude and. Uh, uh, I'll go in swim ah, good. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to be VFR there, but. Uh, uh, no, no. And then I remembered we're not VFR. <laughs> Good angle is seven and a half. The top there at seven and a half degree. And it will be around. Yeah. So that, that last like one, right? That. That's perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, you're right. That's pretty much spot on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this plane. <laughs> <laughs> Already. <laughs> oh yeah. Can hear the soaring between the engines. Yeah. It's because of the different power setting. That's it's very sensitive. Sometimes you can hear just two percent. Okay. Have you get, tried to get a little closer? Yeah. Thank you. I was trying to do uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Fly, yeah. <laughs> you ever been? You can actually try to fly it just with the rudder. Just okay. leave the stick. Okay. Now use the trim and the rudder. Okay. So, yeah, we can turn to 210 just with the rudder. 210? Yeah. 210 set. Okay, no traffic. So just to be clear, I'm flying the aircraft with rudder, trim, and throttle only. I need to trim back a little bit. Just a small adjustment there. Good. Oh boy, that's climbing. <laughs> that's I not. I have to run a little bit. Uh, that's good. That's excellent. I've only done this on sim before. So. <laughs> uh, that's really rough. I've been stuck on flying the, the Airbus simulator. Uh, the first time I sat in the Airbus simulator, an instructor, an old friend of mine, he, <coughs> immediately when I took off, he, his, the stick didn't work. So uh, <laughs> I needed oh. to fly with the rudder. Okay, how do I? How long do you want me to hold this for? How long do you fly this? Huh? You can say, can, can, we, can we empty the tank? Uh, <laughs> Lift our feet so we don't touch it. Alright. <laughs> 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 okay. okay, then we turn uh, left to 330. Three 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 okay, should we go for a steep turn then? Hold it. Yeah, 360 can start with the left turn. I'm on okay. the 4-2 kilo counseling your iPhone flight back. Clear. Uh, I need to add okay. a 65. I'll power up to 65, 70. Yeah. All right, so I'll power first. Yeah. 65 percent. Yeah, something like that, good. And this turn. Clear, 45 yeah. degrees is bank. Yeah. Oh, come on, get the foot in. Uh, now you ease off the foot there as well, that's good. That's 60. Uh, 45, a little bit late, and 60 is all the way down. All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, the oh, all right, sorry. Cool. Sorry, mate. <laughs> uh, I got 45. Put me on instruments there because of the light. Uh, now we still sure have the heading. Oh, and boy. Good. Oh, good. And if you do the steep turn, the same when you do the CPL exam. Huh? Uh, yeah, that would be it. Checked. That's uh, good. <laughs> uh, okay, try one to the right as well. All right. So, You might recognize this exercise from the FS multi engine tutorial. Yeah, hold it all the way back and then don't use the alone, just the rudder. And start waving a bit. It's just descending, 1500 okay. feet or something. Okay, and then to get out of it, ease off the stick. 
Pitch forward and power up. Slow, power up. Power up, yeah. That's it. Good. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we go back to 5,000 again. So, 5,000. This bit is really cool. Tommy is about to put the aircraft through its paces. Okay, my control for a while. Control aircraft. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, <Whoa. laughs> oh, is that 1.8 deep? I'm out too. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so before I get to any annoying comments, just know that I've never done aerobatics before, so two Gs, it's a lot for me. Are you planning on down through here? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Tyler, uh, Diamond 31 Hotel. 
I'm on 31 Hotel, go ahead. I'm on 31 Hotel, request uh, traffic pattern overhead, Bjorno. Okay, let's freeze for a second and see, look at what, just what happened. The first time I made the call, it was correct. I said tower, my call sign, where I was, and my intentions in the right order. The second time around, though, I said tower, my call sign, my intentions, and where I was. And because of that little mix-up in the end, the tower thought that I wanted to do some traffic patterns or holds over the visual reporting point. It might be a little silly, but it just shows you how important it is to use proper radio telephony. Yeah, 31 Hotel, that's good. Roger, traffic pattern approved, 31 Hotel. Now we turn left. Uh, okay. And uh, is it 3-4? We actually go around the city, so we, uh, the first one may be a very long final. Okay. So, so we go on the left side of the city now. Left side of the city. Set approach, seatbelt fastened. Yep. Fuel selectors both on. Uh, gear warning horn. Right, unsafe on. Right engine fire yep. working and left engine fire working. Uh, approach. Released. I, forgot I just know. left this part in because of the amazing scenery, but uh, let's move on to the next one. A big tower next to Harry's. <laughs> See, we know all the important things yeah, about yeah, Not, not, not the castle, but the yeah, pub. Yeah, you know, the, you know what Harry's is, yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. You're going to miss you. Yeah, okay, then we can tell me on base for, for touch and go landing. Alvo Tower, Diamond 3 1 Hotel, base for touch and go landing, 3 4. The pause here is because the controller's confused because I'm obviously not where he thought I was meant to be. Diamond. Uh... 3-1 Hotel, Roger, as a vehicle on the runway right now, so call you back shortly, prepare for uh, Mr. Approach. Roger, prepare for Mr. Approach, uh, Diamond 3-1 Hotel. Okay, then we can take speed check, gear down. Check, 122 below 137, huh? so uh, gear, first, yeah. gear first. Oh, no, flaps approach. Uh, below 137? Yeah, flaps. Reduce power, because I'm high. Yeah. And 100 knots approach speed. Uh, and that one is stabilized, 90 knots on the final line. Okay. So you can use the top now, so you can find your path. A little bit low, but it's yeah. good. I'm on 3 1 hotel, wind 260 degrees, 105 knots, runway 34, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 34, Diamond 3 1 hotel. I would like to do a touch and go. Uh, Diamond 3 1 Hotel, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go through in Hotel. Alright, sorry, I should have. Oh. It seems a bit <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing a lot of other stuff. <laughs> and I don't know. Finally, remember to always check tree green. Right, uh, engine okay. tree green, landing lights on. Yeah, and flaps is set up. Can we keep approach? Just, just uh, approach. Okay. Because of the crosswind. Okay. If you have crosswind above 10 knots, just approach flaps. Okay. And uh, what, what should be my over threshold speed? Uh, keep 90 all the way over the threshold, and when you pass threshold, smooth throttle. Okay. A little low. Uh, you can get a little bit crab like this, and then you de-crab when you get in over the runway. You de-crab. I put the yes, uh, yeah, third yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, so 90 knots, 200 feet per minute should be all right. That's the other yeah. yeah. I should speed, a little low. power up a bit, power up a bit. Now you're D-crab, so right rudder, that's good. And smooth all the way to idle. Uh, pitch up a little bit more. Oh, I can pass. Let's keep it like that. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. I don't go all the way back with the stick. Ah, uh, that's good. Okay, that flaps up. Flaps up first. Oh, sorry. Okay. sorry. Sorry, sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Folks, don't forget to take the flaps up on a touch and go. Just don't. Much. So it's still good. Okay. Yeah. 90, 90 knots, no more usable runway, flaps up. Uh, 
That'd be good. And um, on downwind, we do approach check again. So it's seat belt, fuel, fuel, parking brake, gear fire test, lights as required, so then landing lights off. Okay, so we leave the taxi lights on? Yeah, we leave the taxi lights on. Okay. So it's actually the flow as well. Seat belt, chop, chop, chop. Right. So like that. Yeah. Okay. Seat belts. Uh, You're telling me you turning base. Are you doing one turn to go into final, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Diamond 31 Hotel turning base runway 34. Diamond uh, 31 Hotel, we're in the 270 degrees, 14 knots, runway 34, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 34, uh, Diamond 31 Hotel, full stop landing. Anything like that? That wasn't very good. <laughs> oh, there's a quite a strong crosswind, eh? Yeah. Oh, Papi says we're high. March 40. Uh, three greens. Three okay, greens check. Yeah. And from now on, you need to check it all the time. Even if you sit in a test tower or whatever, remember to check three greens so you don't forget it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little low. Oh, it's okay. Concentrate on the run right now. Forget the puppy. Uh, that's good. And uh, now you're right rudder to be crab. Good. A little bit lower. Uh, just, just keep it like that. Just keep it like that. Don't pitch back anymore. That's it. That's it. Lovely. That's pretty good, I guess. I'll wait for the brakes. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah. Wait for the brakes? Yeah. Okay, I see you. Three one hotel taxi in via backtrack runway two three and alpha. Backtrack runway three four uh two three four and alpha fox stop. Sorry. Diamond three one hotel backtrack runway three four via alpha. Who knows what I meant? Yeah. Backtrack runway two three and alpha. Oh, you did. Two three and alpha. <laughs> two three and alpha. Sorry, thank you. Diamond three four one hotel. I'll complete. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Now we can break. Come on, move on. I'll come in. So this is the bit where the controller is telling my instructor that he got confused by my call and he thought that we wanted to do traffic circuits over Bjorner, the visual reporting point. Okay, okay then we're off the runway, so we take flaps up. Alright, flaps up. Uh, landing lights off. Landing lights off. And pit heat off. Heat off. The main lesson I learned from watching this video after having finished the training is just how much I talk in the cockpit. During my training at Diamond, one of the instructors pointed that out and mentioned that I might find better if I talked less. I made a conscious effort and the very next flight, things improved dramatically. I was using precious mental resources for casual chat instead of flying. I hope you guys enjoyed this flight. It was one of the best experiences of my life and the training following that didn't disappoint. A huge shout out to all the Diamond Flight Academy instructors. They really do a fantastic job and I was super lucky to train with them. If you guys have anything to add or if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. I'd also like to take this opportunity to ask you guys to check out my FSX ME rating tutorials. It's all done using the Alabeo DA42 and we cover the main differences between the sim aircraft and the real one, as well as all the practical training for doing the multi-engine rating on the DA-42. Also, a quick reminder that I wrote an FSX exercise book. It's super cheap and short, and it basically describes a whole bunch of exercises to help you improve your home flight simulator flying skills. It's available for Kindle, and it has 4 out of 5 stars on the Amazon store. That's it for now though, I'm Tarek Merrickface, I'll see you guys next time, and happy flying.